Hey everyone, it's Brian with Rockridge Bees. It's September 30th. I haven't done an update in a while or made a video in a while, just been doing other things and not so busy out here in the bee yard, of course, in the in the fall. I've been feeding lately, fed each hive about a gallon or so a week ago. It's been kind of rainy lately. We had the hurricane come through Georgia, you know, which is just east of me. Uh, that came through last week. So today I went and put all the oxalic treatments for the fall on my colonies, my oxalic pads. And when I do this, you know, I can check all of the top boxes for weight. Uh, and most of them feel pretty good. And I just mark each one of the boxes, um, how I think they feel. Uh, the closer to the front I lay something, the heavier the box is. I mean, if I have trouble picking the box up, it's heavy enough for me. The, uh, the single over here is doing really good. They've really filled out this single. Uh, most of these colonies are really good. There's one that's maybe kind of lacking, which is this one. I just, I marked it in the middle. It's a smaller colony. Uh, they have some food, but it's a smaller colony. And so right now you should be seeing colonies reduce in size. You are seeing less brood production. Um, if you have any question about like, how's the colony doing? Go down in the colony, look for brood. That's the best and really only way to tell like what's going on. Don't just look at the at the activity on the front of the hive. But otherwise, like most of the bees, you know, most of my bees are pretty docile, um, which means they're kind of in a good mood. That's the way I take that. So they've got food, they've got brood. Uh, you know, I said, except for like kind of one colony, which I'll just watch. It's almost October. I am not going to worry about doing anything to this colony this late in the fall. I'm just not going to worry about it, right? If they are too small to make it over winter, they just won't make it. I'm just going to leave them alone um, because they have food and they do have some brood in there. They're just kind of small. I still have the one little nuke in this thing. Um, it's on about five or six frames. That is small for me over winter. I'd rather, I'd rather at least run over winter in a, in, you know, in a 10 frame deep but uh, we'll see how they do. They've got food, they've got brood, they've got a queen, they look all right. The, uh, the goldenrod's blooming right now, so you can see my, uh, my little goldenrod patch here. It's been blooming for about a week or so here, um, you know, so the bees can get some good pollen and stuff off of that. It looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I guess YouTube just emailed me that I got uh, 500 subscribers, so that's kind of cool. Thanks for subscribing. I mean, if y'all watch the videos, subscribe. It just tells me that people watch the videos. Send me a comment, ask me a question, whatever. Watch my old videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Let me know if you got any questions, and I'll see you next time.